Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to show you how to customize your tinted sunscreens to match your neck and your chest. Now what I mean about that is, is that maybe about a month and a half, two months ago, I did a video on the Drunk Elephant Physical Daily Defense tinted sunscreen and in that video I told you guys that this sunscreen is a little bit too pigmented for my skin tone especially when I'm not tanning self tanning and when I'm at my palest or when my self tanner is wearing off and I'm starting to get a little bit more pale this sunscreen can be a little bit too dark for me and some of you had left some comments and were saying that you were a little bit disappointed that I didn't show you how it applied and how dark it really is on my skin tone so I thought this video would be perfect since I'm at my palest. My self tanner's definitely worn off and I'm gonna have to reapply it this weekend. So I definitely wanted to show you how dark this sunscreen is on my face compared to my neck. And then I'm going to remove the sunscreen and then I'm gonna show you how to customize it so that it can match the rest of your body. Now, of course, you can use your tinted sunscreen down your neck and on your chest. I personally don't like to do this as I don't wanna ruin my tops. If you're wearing a white shirt, it's definitely going to transfer onto your shirt or your dress or whatever you're wearing for the day and I don't wanna do that. So I like to use a white sunscreen down my neck which I like to use the Drunk Elephant regular sunscreen. I like to put that down my neck and on my chest and then on my face when I'm feeling like it, I will put the tinted sunscreen on my face. So I'm gonna show you how this looks like on my face without customizing it and then I'm going to customize it and show you what you can do at home to make your sunscreens work for your skin tone. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how I use this. So I like to shake the bottle up really well and I do this for all of my sunscreens. And I just wanna let you know that when I am self tanning, I don't have to customize this sunscreen. I can go right in with this Drunk Elephant tinted sunscreen right on my face and it does match really well. And of course, when I put my makeup on, then it just enhances how dark my face is and then it really matches really well with the rest of my body. So definitely, this is great when you're self tanning, but when I'm not, I have to definitely customize it so I'm gonna show you how I use this now I know everybody has their own theory on how much to apply to your skin and honestly I don't go overboard with my sunscreen like I don't just like load up a whole bunch on my face to get the proper SPF percentage because I know that there is a proper amount to apply onto your skin to get the benefits of that SPF 30 and all that titanium dioxide percentages and the zinc I don't chintz out either. I don't just put a minimal amount on. Like I do cover my face up pretty well. So I know there's some theories out there, so don't judge on how much I put on my face. Everybody puts on different amounts depending on how they like it. So I'm just gonna show you how I do it. So I do like to do a generous amount onto my face. And I like to at least do that much right there at least start with this much, okay? So then if I need more, then I'll definitely just add more. But I don't wanna put too much on my face and then have to remove some. I just don't wanna do that. Okay, so then I like to just kinda some of the product all over and then massage it in. So I am using my viewfinder here, so I'm hoping that I'm gonna rub this in really evenly. And I can already feel that I'm gonna need more because it's my face is really soaking this up really well. But it does spread really nicely. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna need some more. I don't like to go underneath my eyes with tinted sunscreens. I just don't, you definitely can, but I personally don't like to do that. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more onto my face because I can feel some areas didn't get covered. And make sure that you really get into your hairline with this because um, if you don't, you're definitely gonna see a difference. I'm really hoping this is blending in. I'm gonna have to check this after. But you can already see how dark I'm getting just by 
the amount that I put on and you can definitely build this up too so if you're somebody that likes a lot of color keep adding more if you like more is actually better but in my circumstance I can't go too dark with this unless I customize it So I'm really hoping that you can see the difference on camera. In real life right now, when I look at my mirror over here, I can see how dark my face is to my neck. I have a ring light in front of me here, so that's kind of making my face a little bit more brighter, which is kind of whiting out this, this look. So I'm really hoping that you can see the difference here. And I'm really hoping that I rub this in really well. Let me take a quick look here. Yeah, I didn't get into my hairline very good here. See, I can see a big difference when I look at myself in the mirror here, but when I do this and I'm facing you guys, it definitely looks like it's blending in a little bit, so I apologize for that. I can't really turn down my viewfinder, and if I turn it off, then the room's gonna be way too dark. So just trust me when I say this, it definitely is really dark in real life, especially when I'm not self tanning. You can see a little difference when I do this. Like, I stopped about here, so you can definitely see how white my neck is. And, I mean, it looks good, but it doesn't look good when you have a white neck. And I find that as you let it sit on your face for the 15 to 20 minutes before you go in and apply your makeup, I do find that the color does get a little bit darker over time. So you know what? I might turn my camera off. I'm gonna wait about 15 minutes. I'm gonna come back on and show you and let's see if it does get a little bit dark and I can show you guys and then I'll remove it and go and customize the color for you. So I will be back in 15 minutes. Okay, so it's been 15 minutes and you can definitely tell that it has gotten a little bit darker. I can really tell when I'm just walking around my house, but of course with this ring light here, it's making it a little bit lighter than what it really is in real life. So I am going to insert a clip here and this was taken in my house and you can definitely see that there is a difference between my neck and my face. And it's not a huge difference, but it's it's enough to bother me when I'm wearing my makeup because I know that once I go and put my makeup on it's gonna make my face look darker and then I'm really gonna see the different colors and that's gonna really bother me and it doesn't look right. It looks like you're wearing a mask. So I really love though that this is a tinted sunscreen that claims it's tinted. Yes, it really is tinted. You're seeing it right now, and I love that. I love that when they're saying it's tinted, it really is tinted, and that you can customize it and build it up if you want to, and there's nothing worse than buying a tinted sunscreen and there's literally no color payoff. You're definitely getting color when you're getting this product, and I love that about Drunk Elephant. It really is a great product, and I love that you can build it up and you can customize it. So I'm going to remove my sunscreen and I'm going to come back on here and show you how I customize it when I'm at my palest. See you soon. Okay, so I've washed my face. I've removed the Drunk Elephant Tinted Sunscreen from my face. And as you can see, everything is more even and everything is just clean. So all I've done was cleanse and toned and that's it. I don't have any moisturizer on or eye product, nothing. So we're starting with a clean sweep here and I'm gonna get right into it. So of course, I'm gonna also use the Drunk Elephant Tinted Sunscreen, SPF 30, and I'm also going to customize this sunscreen with the Drunk Elephant Physical Daily Defense SPF 30, and this is the one that's just white in color. And these two sunscreens are the only ones that Drunk Elephant has in their skincare line, and I really, really love these two sunscreens. I really do. I have done a video on these sunscreens as well as Elta MD, which I have right here, which I have the tinted Elta MD as well as the Elta MD UV Clear, and this one's good for acne prone skin. So I will link that video below for you so that you can check that out after this video. So I'm going to go right into it. So I'm going to mix these two sunscreens together and you can do them different ways. The way I'm going to show you is the easiest I find that gets a really nice blendable application that makes everything more even. But 
when I had my full face of the Drunk Elephant Tinted Sunscreen, you could go in with the physical daily defense on top and apply it right over top. Now you can do that, I feel like you're getting way more product on your face that way and it's not as blendable and it's not as even if you were to do it the way that I'm going to show you. So let's get to it. Okay, so I'm going to get the tinted and I'm going to put a little bit on my finger. And then I'm going to go in with the Physical Daily Defense and I'm going to put that on the other finger. Like that. So that's about the amount that I have on both fingers. So it's about even. And you want to make sure that you do have an even amount for each color. So then I'm going to mix the two together mix it really well and this dilutes the color of the tinted drunk elephant and I know this is a no-brainer but honestly I just thought of doing this about a month ago and I thought why didn't I think of this sooner so it's a really good idea to do you're using both products up you're not not using one product and then it goes bad this way you can incorporate both products and dilute it and make it a custom to your skin tone but normally I'm pretty good when I just do an even amount on each side. So it's just a little bit more than a pea size amount for each. So now I'm going to apply it. And I will take this underneath my eyes because it's diluted. And you want to make sure you get into your hairline as well because you want to protect that spot of your skin also but you also want to make sure it blends but you don't have to be as careful as if you were just going in with the tinted sunscreen. So just like that. And I'm hoping I'm blending this in well. I honestly can't see the best with my viewfinder, but it will all work out. So let me see what this looks like with my trusty mirror here. So yeah, I blended everything in pretty well. Just go around my eyes a little bit more here. Just like that. So I have the same amount of product on my face as if I did with that tinted sunscreen that I showed you a little bit ago. And as you can see, it blends so much better to my neck currently and I love it. And this is just giving a little bit of a tint to my face to kind of even out my skin tone. But it just customizes so, so nicely. And I love the outcome. So this is what I do when I'm not self tanning. And this is what I do when my self tanner is wearing off and my neck is becoming more pale. And I find this way it just blends so nicely. And of course if I'm completely pale and I have nothing on my skin, like I do have a little bit of self tanner left on my skin, I have to exfoliate that off uh, tonight. But if I'm completely pale, like in the winter time, I won't even use the tinted sunscreen. I'll just go in with the Physical Daily Defense, the white version, and then I'm good. So I really love this customization. It works really well. And of course, if you have a little bit of a darker skin than I do, I'm pretty fair. So if you do have a little bit more of an olive skin tone, then maybe you might want to do a little bit more of the tinted sunscreen and do less of the physical daily defense and kind of do it that ratio. You'll have to play around with it and see what works best for you, but I find that if I do an even pea size amount or more of the tinted and the same amount for the non-tinted, I find that it just customizes perfectly to my skin tone. And I really love this, and they're both SPF 30, and find that I only do it 
with the Drunk Elephant products because that tinted sunscreen is just so tinted. I feel like I don't really have to do it with the Ulta MD tinted because it's just not as pigmented and it just evens out your skin tone pretty nicely without giving you a lot of color. This way you can get a lot of color if you like depending on what's going on with your tan here. But you can also customize it and tone it down a little bit with using the physical daily defense and customizing it to your neck. So as you can see, everything blends so nicely and then when I go and put my makeup on, I don't have a darker face than my neck. Everything blends really well and it, it just matches so nicely. And we want our faces to match our neck, like we just do. So I'm not going to show you in this video with me putting this down my neck. I'm going to do that later on. But I would then go in with the physical daily defense, the white version, and then put it on my neck and then my decollete if I was wearing a tank top or if I was wearing a t-shirt, I would just do my neck only. It's very easy to do. You don't need to use the Drunk Elephant line to do this. You can use other products that you may have at home, products that might be pretty pigmented just like this Drunk Elephant one or you know what if you're very 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 fair and you have a lighter tinted sunscreen try mixing that with a regular sunscreen and go from there. I don't know what it would be like to mix products that aren't in the same line so for example using a Drunk Elephant and mixing it with the let's say Elta MD UV Clear. I don't know how these two would mix because there's different ingredients, they're different brands, and I don't know, and I don't know if I would recommend doing this. You can try, may experience pilling, I don't really know. So I like to do the mixing with the same brand and the same products because the ingredients are gonna be very, very similar and it's gonna go together very nicely. So what I might do now is, I don't know if you really care, but I'm gonna do it anyways. I'm gonna turn my camera off. I'm gonna go put on my full face of makeup and then you're gonna see that my face is going to blend better with my neck and we'll go from there. I didn't wanna do it with the tinted with my makeup because the, the tinted just gave you the clear result there of it being so much darker than my neck. So if I would've went and put my bronzer on and my foundation on, it definitely would've looked like a complete mask. So I really really wanted to show you the customization first, then I'm going to go put my makeup on so that you get a better idea of the final result, and yeah, so I will be right back. Okay, so this is the final result with my makeup on, and I have a full face of makeup, bronzer, blush, and everything else going on. So now you get to see the real picture of how that customization works with my regular makeup routine, and you can tell that everything matches very nicely. It blends, it doesn't look like I'm wearing a mask, it looks natural, and... I love that. I just love that. So this customization is a really great idea and you know what? Like it's so easy and it's so quick and I wish I would have thought of this a long time ago and like I said, I know it's a no-brainer. Dilute it, mix it with your sunscreen, but honestly not everybody thinks of it and that's why I created this video for you. So I really wanted to give you another alternative to try in your skincare routine to make your products work. So I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. And of course, if you have any questions, leave them below. I'd love to answer them for you. And if you have any other ideas that you would like to see from me in videos, let me know below as well. And of course, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you can also subscribe to my channel, that would be great as well. And don't forget to click that notification bell because you will not miss any of my future videos if you do. So I'll definitely see you in my next video. Take care and we'll see you then. Bye guys.